might be on your summer vacation, but earning season isn't over yet. It's still going full throttle. We're going to get over about a thousand companies reporting this week, so there's a lot going on. I looked through the charts and we're going to get some interesting names, including a lot that are in the retail sector. So we're going to kick it off this week with retailers. Some are good, some aren't so good, some have beat, but the charts don't look so good. So let's jump right into it and see which is which this week. Our first company is one of the retailers and it's Ralph Lauren. Now they only have that one miss in early 2015, but as you can see, the shares have sunk. So all of retail is just kind of out of favor. With the retailers, an important thing to look at is uh, what they're doing on either same store sales or you know the, that kind of area, whether or not the department stores and other of their customers are buying their goods. So this is definitely um, one of the more interesting names to watch. They've been kind of in transition. They're closing down some of their restaurants, uh, but you know I'm gonna be checking in on this one because it's still one of the big names. Then we're gonna have one of its competitors here, which is Michael Kors. Uh, they have a perfect track record, as you can see, haven't missed, but again, shares have sunk. Some of that has to do with sales just slowing, even though they're beating on the earnings consensus. If sales are slowing, investors are fleeing, so that is what's happening. They've also been in kind of a transition. They announced some layoffs. They're going to be closing some of their stores, but uh, this is a name to keep an eye on in the accessory category because it used to be hot, and now it's not. Then our third retailer is the online giant Wayfair. They have a real good track record too with just that one miss way early on after they went IPO there. But otherwise, shares have taken off here. Uh, I don't think they're profitable yet, but that's not really bothering most investors. But this is going to be one of the key online names to watch. And then we're going to transition to some non-retail stocks to lead off the week. And one of those, although they do have kind of a retail component, is Disney. Now they only have the two misses here, so they've got a great track record, but investors have just been a little bit uh, cautious on this one for a couple of years. And even though on the movie side of the business, they've been killing it with the Star Wars movies and others, uh, that hasn't really mattered much to investors. And it's kind of a valuation play here and just a nervousness play. Uh, their businesses are areas that do well when the economy is doing well, which is happening right now. And I think investors might just be a little worried about what happens if there's a slowdown. So uh, this is definitely one of the biggest names to watch this week. And then we're going to have the juggernaut at the end of today's video, Priceline. They haven't missed it all. And this chart looks really great, right? Uh, obviously trading near the five-year highs here. But if you actually stop to think what this chart shows, you'll notice that in 2014, 2015, and most but not all of 2016, the shares were really stagnant. You had to be uh, have a strong gut here to own these shares, even though they kept beating for nearly three years without them rising while the rest of the stock market rose. So they were underperforming the rest of the market during those years. They have since uh, kind of redeemed themselves and taken off here but you had to have some guts. So it's not quite as uh, bullish as the story portrays, as this, as this portrays for investors who've owned all this time. And in full disclosure, I was one of those who owned during this time. So, and I still own it, but it, it has been a little bit tougher um, stock to own compared to a lot of the other FANG stock or other high growth names. But this is one on the travel side everyone's gonna be watching. So we got some retail, we've got some other big names reporting this week, and we're going to get some tech later in the week as well. A lot is going on. If you're going to play in the options plays on any of these, be sure to tune in with Dave Bartosiak over on Zach's Live Trader. That's on YouTube. Go over there on Zach's Live Trader on YouTube to trade the options on many of these because he's going to be covering those, and I'm going to be covering all the earnings charts for the rest of this week. So be sure to tune in.